everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. I upload videos about nail polish, nail care, and tan care. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll be live swatching the Glistening Glow Fall Vibes Collection. This is a limited edition eight piece collection that'll be available September 9th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this limited edition collection are all cream shades. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of the fall, at least for nail polish, I always think of cream shades. I always, oh, look, I don't know my face. I don't know what it is. It's just, maybe it's a change of temperature. I live in New England, so the temperature always changes over here. Um, so maybe the cooler feeling, I don't know. Creams just make me feel more snuggly. I don't know. <laughs> I always make a seasonal rack. So I know this, this seasonal rack will definitely consist of more cream shades. Usually I reserve the cream shades for like my mainstream polishes, but I do have cream shades um, from my indie brands as well. So I think, I think for this seasonal rack, I'll definitely be incorporating more cream shades. All right, we have a lot to swatch, so let's get into it. All right, first up we have Afghans and Apple Butter. This is described as a pale mauve cream. Um, I'm going to sound like a broken record literally throughout this entire video because this the formula for these cream polishes are absolutely amazing. So Afghans and Apple Butter just needed two coats. Here it is with a glossy top coat. Honestly, like you could probably even get away with not wearing a top coat. It dries down so glossy. Pictured our two coats of Afghans and Apple Butter with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Flannels and Feasts. So this is coming off a little bit brighter in the swatch. You'll see in the picture that it's a little more um, muted, but it's described as a radiant orchid cream. So again, two coats and you reach full opacity. And I'm not kidding you guys, like I probably waited five, 10 minutes before applying a top coat just to see how long the length of the shine would last on its own. It's crazy. But you can see how it's a little more muted, but it's still a gorgeous shade. So pictured are two coats of flannels and feasts with the glossy top coats. Next up, we have spices and sweaters, and this is described as a pumpkin spice orange cream. Builds up beautifully on that first coat. Sometimes with lighter colors um, like these, you may need to build it up in, in three coats, but this one built up in two, and even on longer nails, I would even think two is fine. Again, another polish that dried down super glossy, and I was almost tempted not to use a glossy top coat, but I did anyways, just for the photos. Pictured are two coats of spices and sweaters with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have turtlenecks and touchdowns, and this is described as an indigo cream. Um, I love the name of this polish, Touchdowns. Um, when I think of fall, I think of football season from New England. I'm from New England, so um, the Patriots obviously are uh, are big up here, and this is a perfect shade to to match their team. Again, beautiful coverage in two coats. Um, dries down super glossy. You do want to be careful because this this will cause a little bit of staining. I had some staining in my in my cuticles because the color is so rich. Um, so just be mindful when you do apply it. You may want to double up on your base coat. But pictured are two coats of turtlenecks and touchdowns with the glossy top coats. Next up, we have hay rides and hot cocoa, and this is described as a rose taupe cream. I love dusty shades for the fall. This one built up beautifully again, two coats, dries down super glossy. Like I said, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, uh, but I can't see anybody needing three coats for this polish, even longer nails. So you can see right here how shiny it is. So I didn't apply any top coat just yet. This is dried down. Look how glossy that looks. Pictured are two coats of hay rides in hot cocoa with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Soup and Snuggles, and this is described as an olive green cream. As you can see, um, it's really building up on that second coat, and you can kind of see towards the right that there's a little bit of like patchiness, but that self-levels on its own. Um, so here it is in two coats, um, no top coat just yet, so again, super glossy. This kind of reminds me of Split Pea Soup, which is probably the reference to this name. <laughs> but pictured are two coats of soup and snuggles with a glossy top coat. All right, next up we have tea and totes, and this is described as a camo green cream. Um, I absolutely love camo prints. <laughs> I 
have like camo print shoes bags clothing it's I, I love it i even get it get it for my kids too but um again a gorgeous mid-tone green i love these types of greens for the fall these cream formulas i'm telling you guys like i love myself the cream formula from zoya i've always been a big fan of those but these are on another level they were so easy to work with so smooth they dried down super glossy absolutely freaking amazing so pictured our two coats of tea and totes with a glossy top coat and last up is hoodies and hugs and this is described as a salmon pink cream so out of all of them this was the the polish that i had the most trickiest time with with the formula um i think maybe it was probably user error too and maybe i just applied too thick of coats but i feel like there was some streakiness but again i think if i would have applied two thin coats i wouldn't have had that issue um this kind of reminds me of that pepto bismol color it's, um in the live swatch you can see like it's not accurate but in the actual still photos it's it's accurate so pictures are pictured are two coats of hoodies and hugs with a glossy top coat all right guys choosing favorites so i actually have two um spices and sweaters and hay rides and cocoa so i i always love a good like pumpkin-y orange burnt orange type of shade for the fall so this obviously was going to be a must and then i love myself a good dusty shade now if you look at afghans and apple butter um like if for me thinking of both of them i'm kind of like oh they're, they they're very similar but when you put them side by side they're obviously not so you can tell that um, afghans and apple butter is a little more on the brighter side more more pastel leaning than um hay rise and cocoa hot cocoa hay rise and hot cocoa <laughs> it's like a tongue twister but anyways um yes i love myself a good dusty shade especially for the fall especially when it starts to get a little bit cooler um so yes yeah, these two guys like does that bother people that sound sorry if it does but i love the sound of clinking polish bottles together <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one